This program is brought to you by the National Cervical Cancer Coalition, America's oldest nonprofit organization exclusively focused on issues relating to cervical cancer and HPV. Another woman dies of cervical cancer every two hours. The disease is second only to breast cancer and cancer deaths among women worldwide. Across America, some 4,000 women will die of cervical cancer before the year is out. Barbara Kane's cervical cancer is not curable, but now her condition is stable. Uh, I had a needle biopsy. It proved positive for metastatic cervical cancer. Mine has already metastasized. And I try to be positive, but I feel like I have one foot in the door that, you know, I'm a, I'm a time bomb. Michelle Whitlock was diagnosed after a routine pap screening by her gynecologist. It was a couple weeks before my 27th birthday that I found out. Lo and behold, it was cervical cancer. I was told that I needed to have a hysterectomy. So I was 27. I was turning 27, just dating my husband, been in a relationship for six months, and they told me that I would never have my own children, I'd have to have a hysterectomy. Pap test procedures usually detect abnormal cells in and around the cervix. Screening is quick and painless, and as Quita Gibson learned, if the disease is detected early, patients can still bear children and lead normal lives. I never had any symptoms. Had I not kept that annual appointment saying, oh, I don't have time, I'm going to wait till later or go later, it could have progressed and, and been a worse case of cancer. 10,000 more women in America will be diagnosed with cervical cancer this year alone, about half between the ages of 35 and 55. The National Cervical Cancer Coalition held a conference in Washington, D.C. to inform the public help survivors and fight the stigma that incorrectly links the disease to promiscuous behavior. Will you join me? Yes. Will you make a difference in the lives of women? To attendees like Robin Schrader, it was very important to dispel public misperceptions. They say, okay, these are usually the precursors are, you know, sex at an early age and um, smoking and um, many sexual partners, and I didn't have any of those. It's just, it's so taboo that I think that's where cervical cancer has been in not acknowledged by many people. While cervical cancers do result from a sexually transmitted virus, the human papillomavirus, HPVs are as ubiquitous as the common cold. Four out of every five women and men become infected with an HPV virus. But in most cases, the infection goes away spontaneously, without treatment. It is a very common virus that almost all women get in their life. So I think what we'd like to do is eliminate that stigma completely so women and men, when they find out HPV may impact men in some ways, won't be stigmatized. I was mortified. Because of the stigma, Patty Jurek kept her cancer diagnosis a secret, even from her own parents. I just didn't know what their reaction would be. So the surgery drew closer, and the night before surgery, I called my mom around 8 o'clock at night and told her, you know, I know you have a lot going on, but could you take me to the doctor tomorrow? She was like, what's going on? What do you mean? I'm like, well, I have to have surgery. I have cervical cancer. And my mom just lost it. She dropped the phone, hung up. And they called me back, and they said, sure, we'll go with you. And my mom and dad took me, and when they found out about HPV, they were, they, my mom kind of gave me that look like, you slut, because <laughs> they didn't know what it was. It's important to know that most women and men contract an HPV infection, and that, more importantly, about 70% of cancers caused by the viruses can now be prevented with breakthrough vaccines recently approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. We must vaccinate women with this vaccine. It is critical. In the past, we had the PAP. The PAP test is wonderful. It detects most cancers before they become cancers. However, the problem that we have is that some women don't get PAP smears. The best way to prevent cervical cancer is for us to get our PAP smears. 
on a regular basis and encourage friends and family to also get pap smears. Even though the vaccine will prevent 70% of all cervical cancer if administered to the entire population, there will still be 30% of cervical cancers that are caused by other types of viruses not included in the vaccine. The pap smear continues to be critical. Yes, my message is definitely keep your annual appointments and get your pap smears. Recording artist and survivor Christine Bays added her voice to the conference's chorus of information and hope and the sense of empowerment felt by a sisterhood of survivors. I was diagnosed with invasive cervical cancer with extensive lymphatic invasion in 2000. And I didn't know, I literally didn't know where my cervix was, I didn't know anything. And when I went online and I went looking for information, what I found was the National Cervical Cancer Coalition. I've been a member ever since. I think it's a great resource for women. Others know that there are voices out there and that there are others that share the experience. And I think that this, the National Cervical Cancer Coalition is a great um, outlet and a way to do that. Founded in 1996, the National Cervical Cancer Coalition is a grassroots nonprofit organization for women, family members, caregivers, and healthcare professionals battling issues related to cervical cancer and HPV disease. National Cervical Cancer Coalition, can I help you? The NCCC provides a variety of services, including free phone pals and e-pals programs, a newsletter, and initiatives like the Cervical Cancer Quilts Project, a traveling exhibit that puts a personal face on the battle against cervical cancer. The good news today is that cervical cancer is one of the most preventable and curable diseases affecting women. There's still options for you. It's, it's not a death sentence, and you know, there, there's, there's hope. We're not victims here, we're survivors and we're caregivers of survivors and um, I feel very encouraged. It's huge, it's an amazing thing to have this room full of women who've experienced this and to have my mom um, be a part of that is, is excellent. I have, a, I have a daughter as well and I just, you know, the, the, the idea of having to go through this with her at some point is so heartbreaking. A lot of people in a lot of communities have nobody they can talk to that is dealing with this. We need to break the silence. We need to get people out there talking about it and sharing. I felt so alone. There are very few women out there to talk to about this. And now I feel like I have a whole family. The National Cervical Cancer Coalition urges women to vaccinate early, remember to have a regular pap test, and have an HPV test if recommended by your clinician. For more information, visit the National Cervical Cancer Coalition website at www.nccc-online.org.